Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today could be a very special day on FIBA 23 Ultimate Team, and it's all because of one pack that we're hoping to see in SBCs today, and that is the World Cup Hero Pack. I want to take a look through how much this pack might cost, why we think it's even coming today, and what it could do to the market on all different aspects. Should you invest for this SBC? Is it going to make the World Cup Phenom cards that are in packs right now go down in price because of panic selling? Are the World Cup Hero cards going to drop in price today? We're going to look at all of that on a big Monday content day. We're also going to take a look at the market in general because we have got some more upgrades coming to the game today. Yes, your five-star weak foots should, weak foots, this always sounds weird to say, but your five-star weak foot upgrades should be dropping on all of your respectable upgrade winners very, very soon today on Monday on this game. So we're going to take a look at that, how those prices can move and discuss in some in-depth investing with these World Cup phenoms. A lot of people are wanting to invest in these cards for their team, for an investment, regardless of what the reason is. A lot of people want to buy these cards, and they're starting to move already. Could they be at their lowest in the next day or so? We're going to take a look at that in this video as well. So if you're excited for it today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this World Cup Hero Pack because I just want to set the record straight and say that this World Cup Pack, as we know, was added to the code during the weekend. And a lot of people are still on the fence on whether this is a store pack or whether it is an SBC pack. If it ends up being in the store, I would be shocked because think about what day it is. It's Monday, right? All of these other packs have been dropped in the game on the weekend. What are the weekends all about in FIFA? Packs in the store, lightning rounds, EA's new promo cards they dropped on a Friday. The weekends are all about packs, 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 store, store, store. And then once we turn the corner to Monday and get into the middle of the week, it's all about SBCs, draining your club. That's why I think this pack was an SBC pack from the get-go, and I think we're going to see it today or tomorrow in SBCs. Now, we're talking about it today because I feel like today is the highest likelihood percentage chance that we see this pack in the game in an SBC today. It might not be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be Wednesday, but Mondays are the most popular day for these sorts of packs. So it's not a guarantee that it's coming today, but the likelihood is pretty high. So that's the pack. Again, any World Cup hero player no rating cap no rating minimum right we've had the max 87 the max 89 base foot hero 86 plus foot hero or world cup hero none of that it's just a strict world cup hero pack now what's the cost going to be of this because you've got a lot of great world cup heroes in this game i mean these cards if you take a look at all these players yeah, there's a handful that aren't that great, but Voller, Forlan, Yaya Toure, Alcocha, Lucio. This is the first upgrade pack, I mean, besides the 86 plus, but the Max 89 World Cup Hero Upgrade, the only other just specific World Cup Hero Upgrade, did not allow Lucio to be packed for Lan, Rudy Voller, um, Papan, not that anybody was super, super crazy about that one for the price point, but you know, every single foot hero World Cup player is going to be packable from this pack today. Alawarian, Cool, Smolarek, Donovan, Brolin, Marquisio, um, not Keen. He's, of course, uh, an SBC only card, not going to be packable from this. But that's why this pack has hype because these heroes get great links. They are great statistically and they're really meta and they're just fun and they're just cool because it's the whole Marvel collaboration as well. So that's why there's a lot of hype around these. What's the SBC going to cost, Nate? Get to the business side of things. I think this SBC today is probably going to be around. 200,000 coins. I mean, the max 89 was about 168k, and I do believe it was even more expensive than that at its peak price because when this SBC came out, 85s were, yes, 70,000 coins on Black Friday. You guys might remember 70k when this SBC was out, I think like for the second time. Uh, when it was re-released during Black Friday, it was super expensive. And then the 86 plus was around 150k, repeatable three times also during Black Friday. I just think that with all of the very high-priced heroes that you have in here, Lucio's 1.5, Yaya's 2.1, Rudy, Forlan, 500 and 700k respectively, you've got a lot of expensive heroes in here. Yes, you've got a lot of cheap heroes in here, right? You've got Cahill, you've got Ocampos. 
Um, you've got ooh, some other ones. Colaire is pretty cheap. Dempsey, Algebra. You've got a lot of cards in here, P Peter Crouch, that are really, really cheap. So, of course, there is an L aspect to this, and it is definitely a gamble. But this is a gamble that so many people are going to take because of the potential that is there. 200,000 coins at this stage of the game, fresh after weekend league rewards and 84 times 20s, is not too much for people to go and shell out as well. And I think EA know that that's the case, right? That's why I think they released a lot of these packs on Mondays because people have fresh packs open over the weekend. They have fresh rewards to go and do an SBC like this. It keeps them involved with the game and it drains their club so that EA can do it all again in future weeks, right? That's why I expect that pack today, somewhere around 200,000 coins. Now, if it's 200K, are people gonna do it? Absolutely. freaking lootly The only way I think people don't do this SBC today is if it's like, three four hundred thousand coins and astronomically overpriced but if it's 200k or less which it could be less that's a w and i think you're going to see fodder rise up because of that last week we had the 87 plus um base or mid icon and like fodder almost across the entire market went up remember 85s were 9k they're already starting to rise again because people are expecting a market rise on these sorts of prices on the game today on Monday. Here's what I would say. If you have not invested in fodder, I would do go with the safe route here and do a club stock. Spend a couple, uh, maybe 100,000 coins. If you have it, it can be even less than that. Stock some 84s, 85s, 86s. But then I'd also try to get a few 87s, 88s, 89s. I would basically... Club stock, the whole thing, because you just don't know how EA are going to require uh, or what they're going to require for this SBC to get it to be the price point that they want it to be. They could make it two squads. They could make it four squads and make it be super annoying and be like 82, 83, 85, and 86 rated squads or something like that. They could do that, right? Will they? Probably not. It'll probably be two or three squads, like 85, 86, 87, or maybe an 88 squad in there. I think that'd be a little bit too expensive, but you know, that's kind of what I'm expecting for a price point around 200,000 coins. Do a club stock on fodder. And I mean, let's be honest, guys, with an SBC like this and all the hype that it's going to have for these cards, even if fodder is very invested in, fodder is still going to go up only if the only reason it doesn't is if the SPC is really, really, really expensive and people say it's just too expensive for me to do. So that's why I like the fodder investment. Do it at your own risk. Be a little bit careful with it because a lot of people are investing, but I really only see one way and that is up because of the hype of a World Cup Hero SBC. Now, let's talk about the World Cup heroes themselves and the actual players because I think it has to be said that since these cards are so hyped for today and so many people are looking into packing these today, some people have already gone out to the market and sold off some of these cards. I think there was a bit of a snipe just listed on Footbin here, but Rudy Voller has been down uh, he was above 800,000 coins. He's now starting to trickle underneath that price a little bit now. And as I take a look at some of the other World Cup heroes on the market, I see like a, a guy like Yaya Toure, who before the pack code and before this weekend on the game, yes, you could cite some of the brand new, really exciting cards to be a, a little bit of a reason why this price is down. 2.1, under 2.1 million coins for this 89 rated Yaya Toure right now. The best version of Yaya in the game. One of the best midfielders in the game. He is down big. Right, he is down a lot. Smolarek, one of the most hyped World Cup hero striker cards, is uh, is down like thirty thousand coins. He was like five twenty, five thirty, and right now Flippin shows him at four ninety. So people are starting to sell off these cards a bit, and I think you're going to see panic selling again a bit more on these cards today. If especially we have a concrete leak that that pack is going to drop via an SBC today, so watch out very closely for that one. Um, and I think there will be great opportunities to trade with these cards today because people are going to panic sell them and they're going to drop in price. But in the end, how many people are actually going to pack Yaya Toure or how many people are actually going to pack Smolarek? Not that many. So I think there's great potential today to buy these cards in the dip and to flip them later on as people think, oh my goodness, I didn't pack Alawarian, who I really wanted to pack today from this SBC. Guess I just have to go back and buy him off the market um, instead of packing him from the World Cup Hero Pack, right? Alawarian was like 730 a couple days ago, and right now he is 690. He is dropping in price significantly as people are awaiting this SBC pack today. That's my opinion. That's the way that I see it. So keep a very, very close eye on those cards today because that is the biggest part of content people are looking forward to. Now, also, like we mentioned, 
upgrade packs today. We talk about this every single Monday, right? It's not that hard to wrap your mind around. If you plan to do any upgrade packs and you want to try to pack any of the cards that are in this World Cup Phenoms promo, which, I mean, who wouldn't want to pack anybody from this promo team? This promo team is really, really good. GG's EA Sports. Stock your club with some gold rares and non-rares. It's pretty easy to do. You can go through and bid on non-rares today at 350 or 400 coins. They're going to be easy to stock in your transfer list or put them in your club. Uh, do the same thing with gold rares at 6 650 and boom, you'll be set and ready to go to try to pack some of these cards. And of course, the World Cup icons that are packable from Upgrade Packs. We don't know what Upgrade SBC will have, but I'll be honest, it's been a minute since we've had 78 plus player picks. I think it's been two weeks. So maybe we're due another player pick upgrade. I would not be disappointed if they drop to the 80 plus double. I know people were not super happy about the drop rate on the promo cards from those, but I felt like the fodder drop rate from those 80 plus doubles was fantastic so i don't know if you guys agree or not but bring on the upgrade packs the esports because i would love a chance at packing any of these phenoms like leao kamavinga bellingham pedri saka hakimi militao kunde like you can't go wrong packing one of those cards so give me a chance of doing that this week i'll drop some um coins into that side of the sbc gamble if you will so definitely keep an eye out for that now we're talking about all these sbcs we're talking about these phenoms cards nate are these World Cup phenoms going to rise on the market at all today? Monday morning market rise is a part of something that we see almost every single week on this game. As people get their weekly rewards, we talk about this all the time. It's one of the most common market trends we see on FIFA. I do expect to see these cards rise up a little bit today. The most hyped ones, even with a big SBC dropping today, there's a lot of people that won't even know that. They'll want to go out and try out some of these new Phenoms cards. Hakimi was 410k just about an hour ago. He is now up in price. And I'm taking a look at a lot of these cards. Some of them were even lower yesterday. I bought Jude Bellingham last night, right after I recorded the YouTube video at 640. I sold him over 700,000 coins yesterday. Lautaro was 80s last night. He went up to 90k. Saka last night was actually like 90 to 95,000 coins at his absolute lowest. As you can see here, like 95K, a couple snipes there made him even go a little bit lower. He went up to 103, but I think a lot of people right now are looking at these promo cards and they're thinking that today might be their lowest time. And people are investing in these cards late Sunday night into Monday morning, thinking that this will be their cheapest time on the market. And while I do think there is a slight bit of validity to that, the only thing that I could see changing that is, think about today. Think about today with this hero pack, right? What do people often do if they're going to go do an SBC like this and they maybe don't have enough coins to go and do it? Well, let's say you have 100,000 coins, but you need 200,000 to do this SBC. You might go and sell somebody from your team that you might be trying, just like a Saka, maybe a, a Martinez, or especially for the World Cup Phenom cards that are like less than 200,000 coins. There could be a little bit of selling on these cards today if people are super hyped to go and do this SBC. That could be one spot of the market where these Phenoms cards drop today around content. I do think, back to my original point, that these cards will rise up a bit um, as they did yesterday into Sunday. Since we get rewards today, that's often a common thing you see is that the prices rise up into the daytime after people get their weekend league rewards and after they get um, squad battle rewards in the case of yesterday because they go out and they buy cards. When people get packs and coins, they go out they build teams, they buy cards, uh, and try new things out. I do think that these cards will rise a bit today. I also think that with the big SBC, if there are tradable pack supply packs, let's say the SBC is two sections, probably the packs you get back from each of those sections would be tradable. If they're any good, you could see more supply on the market for these cards as well. So if you're somebody who is wanting to invest in any of these World Cup phenoms, Today could be an actual buy opportunity if you have not invested yet. But what you really need is for EA to create a lot of hype with this World Cup Hero Upgrade SBC today for these cards to drop any more because a lot of them look like they're primed to continue going up just because there is so much hype for all the big names that are in these promo packs uh, in this World Cup Phenoms promo. So just keep a close, close eye on that. If I were to shout a few of these that I like out of packs, I think I've even talked about this a bit during the weekend already, but I like Martinez, I like Saka, I like Pedri, Hakimi, uh, Jude Bellingham. I mean, most of this team has potential to do well out of packs because it's just big name players with um, some pretty really spicy upgrades on their cards, right? I mean, we talked about it. The weak foot skill move upgrade on Saka, 
the stat boosts on Kamavinga and some of these other cards are very, very nice. I do think there is a potential for these cards. I think they are investable. And whether you buy them today, whether you bought them yesterday, or maybe until you're waiting, maybe you're waiting until Thursday, right? I think there are opportunities to profit on these cards and we'll continue to monitor them as we head throughout the week. But today's a big day for them because of all the other content that is going on. So if there's a price that you really like, you see a card drop, like let's say Pedri goes down to like 220 today or something, that'd be like, okay, that's a really good price for this Pedri card. I'm going to go ahead and since he has not been 220 like at all, he was 235 on Sunday. On Saturday, his lowest price was 240. So that would be like, all right, that's a really, really low price for Pedri. Uh, the content on FIFA in recent weeks has been pretty average. So unless EA plan to switch that around and make content insane all of a sudden, there might be a really good opportunity to invest in these cards um, during the week this week. And maybe it, it is today. Maybe it's a bit sooner, right? That's just something we can never really tell and know until you see it happen. But if it's something that you want for your team, I wouldn't hesitate too long because these cards are so hyped and there's so much demand for them that I would try to get involved with them pretty soon. So watch out for that. Also, with the rest of the market rising today after rewards, last night, uh, and in, uh, sorry, I, I mean, I say last night, but really, I mean, into yesterday on uh, Sunday, you saw a really nice market rise on gold cards. Van Dyke was 88K last night. He went up to like 96, 97. He's back to 88 again. Vinny Jr. was 32. He went almost all the way to 40. Another card that I have on top of my head is Mohamed Salah's gold card. It was like 55K uh, Sunday night, or sorry, Saturday night. And he's right back to 56K, I believe, right now. He was up at 62, I think thousand coins so it's not huge profits but if you're looking to trade and flip with a few cards today on the game i think some of your most meta popular golds i think it'll be a nice market rise today um on that side of the market i'm not saying everything is going to go up today because at the same time we get the weekly rewards yes we might have a little bit of panic with some of these world cup hero cards um, which will be very interesting to watch out and to try to trade with today. Um, but again, I think that your phenoms and your gold cards could go up a bit today as people go out and build teams after they get rewards. So that's kind of what's going on today with the market. Um, I know there's a lot to talk about and a lot to talk through, but that's kind of what I'm looking for with the phenoms, with the World Cup heroes, and with the fodder side of the market. Now, let's talk about path to glories because today is upgrade day once again, and hopefully a price range update day. For uh, one of our cards, maybe even two of them right now that are on the game, we have two cards that are almost extinct. We've got Buffal and Brozovic. That every everybody who is still in the World Cup, of course, your France, Moroccan, Croatia, um, and your Argentina cards are all going to get the five star weak foot today in their upgrade. And none of these cards already have a five star weak foot to my knowledge, so there's no rating upgrades today. It's only the weak foot. So as you can see right now, all these guys still have a four-star weak foot. Hopefully sometime today, pretty quickly, by the way, uh, EA get those upgrades pushed out. So for my guys that have Griezmann, uh, you know, your five-star Griezmann is going to be dropped. And Kunku is going to be one of the craziest cards in the game now because he's going to be going five-star skills, five-star weak foot today on this game. That's really crazy. And then again, like I mentioned for the price range updates, Buffal and Brozovic, uh, Buffal is technically not extinct. He is almost there. He's at 97,000 coins, um, but he's going to go to a five-star weak foot today. They just dropped some Moroccan lads yesterday as a part of dynamic duels in the game. So there's a little bit of extra hype with him. And of course, these are cards that are still live and upgrading. So their prices continue to rise, but watch out for those PTG upgrades today. Um, again, the price for those cards just again, Main, maintain their crazy, crazy high values. Now, as we head into tomorrow on Tuesday and into Wednesday when we have these semifinal games played, let me just show you guys something that's been happening with these cards, especially if they are on the higher tier on this game. Can I find Bernardo Silva really fast? Bernardo Silva, as a Premier League center attacking man, I'm just going to type his name in because I can't find him. Take a look at this Path to Glory card's price. 484 Look what happened after they lost, right? He went from a million coins down to 390 after the game. Rebounded right back up to about 440. And then yesterday, he was as high as 520,000 coins. 550. And now he's back down to a little below 500,000 coins. These cards, and I'm, I'm looking specifically at Griezmann and Nkunku. Um, and even, I would say, Papu Gomez is in 
this conversation as well. If you are somebody who owns one of those cards or is, you know, kind of closely watching one of those cards, I would be very careful, very, very, very careful with those cards. If they end up losing, let's say Argentina lose, let's say France lose, they get knocked out. Watch these cards after the game because these cards are still very, uh, you know, incredible in terms of their stats. They're very hyped. 1.07 mil for this card is like disgusting if we think about it in that way. But these cards after their game, especially if they're rare, they hit a low point and they start to bounce back. Same thing with the Kyle Walker from the England game on Saturday. Kyle Walker was at his lowest, like 560, I believe. And now he is back up to about 620,000 coins, 610 and coming back up in price just because after the panic selling ends people are like wow this card's actually really cheap and affordable now i can go out and buy it and you see the price kind of rise back up in that manner so that is something i would watch out for but again the general point is the path to glory upgrades again are coming today the last thing we have to look out for today is will ea drop any more swap tokens because we think we might be getting 60 swap tokens in total but also ea told us on one of those little loading screens uh, in the game or news tab screens that they're done releasing the swaps objective tokens. So today is a day where we often saw tokens released in the past couple of weeks. We'll see if EA Sports drops us any more tokens today or if we're truly done from with that and maybe the, the rest of our tokens will be coming through this door. We really do not know. But today is all about that World Cup hero pack and it's all about the hype that could come with that getting dropped on the game today. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. It's going to be a fun day on FIFA. It's a big, fun Monday of upgrade pack content. I've got a couple cards I'm looking to trade with today. I picked up a couple Sokka's at 101 just because I feel like so many people are going to invest in this card uh, that I think he's going to rise up. So that's why I picked up a couple of those just because I think the hype on him is too much for an English Premier League right-sided left-sided four-star four-star upgrade first promo card of the year soccer card so big fan of that one also got a Goretzka on a really really low bid at 488 he's like a 550k card so I'll be able to flip that there'll be some nice profits for me today and we'll put some of those profits into upgrade packs to try to pack some of these phenoms especially the new ones Martinez Telemans and Rodrigo watch out for that Martinez today um, he was a card that moved around a fair bit in price yesterday, and uh, I think this is a very interesting one. Let me talk about this here for a second. This Lissandro Martinez, uh, with all the alternate positions, being from Man U, Argentina is still in the World Cup. This card is not live, by the way, but the fact that they're still in the World Cup, I think, brings a little bit of extra hype to this card since people get to see him play still as his team and his nation are still live on the biggest stage right now. Um, and he's going to be playing here pretty soon again in their semifinal game. But I think this card could rise up a bit today. I'd be careful with it. I mean, I tried him out and he's decent. I think a lot of people want to wake up today, get their rewards, try him out as a center back or as a center defensive mid in game. So keep a close eye out for that card. He could be moving kind of like Giroud did last week, if you remember how that card moved on the market. So a lot to talk about with the market, with that SBC. Hopefully today's a big Monday in FIFA 23. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.